Hi, this is Alan from the Chili Dog, and today I'm going to teach you how to do a lace bind off. Make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end because I'll be sharing a pro tip about how to do this bind off in the round. So, a lace bind off works really great for any edges that need to be more elastic or stretchy, like these toe up socks. If the bind off was too tight on these, this edge would dig into your leg, making the socks very uncomfortable. So let me show you how it works. A lace bind off is different than a traditional bind off because you never pass any stitches over each other. Instead, this is a decrease based bind off where you work two stitches together across the row or the round. So to begin, you're going to knit the first two stitches together, but instead of doing it the regular way, you're going to knit them together through the back loops. Once that stitch is finished, simply slip it back to the left needle and then continue on repeating the steps by knitting two stitches together through the back loops and then return the stitch to the left needle. Knit two together through the back loops and then return it to the left needle. So I'm going to continue binding off and I'll be back when I get to the end of the round. So I'm all the way to the end of my round and I'm decreasing my last stitch, knitting it together through the back loop. And now that I have this final stitch made, I am going to go ahead and you can either break or cut your yarn. I'm just going to break the yarn. My needle came out, that's okay. This is my last loop on the needle. So I'm going to open it up a little bit and just pull that yarn tail through to knot it and secure it. The problem is this funny little gap when you are working in the round that you get. It's like a little stair step. To eliminate that gap, my pro tip is to take your yarn tail, thread it onto a needle, which is really hard to do when you're looking at a camera. Once you get your yarn tail threaded onto the needle, look where you decreased at the beginning of the round and find that first V stitch. And it's kind of pointing to the right here. And you're going to take your needle and you're going to go under both strands of that V and then pull the yarn through. And then you want to take your yarn needle and go right back down. Whoops, sorry, there my yarn got in the way. Go right back down through where you made your knot on the right hand side. And again, it kind of makes a little V there. And pull the yarn through and pull it tight. And that just closes up that gap so that you don't have a big stair step there. And then you would just tuck in your yarn tail on the inside of your sock. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to do a lace bind off. If you like this video, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel on YouTube. That's the Chili Dog. And until next time, happy knitting.